What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Tesla video. In this one I'm going to be talking about everything that is new for 2019.5.15. Very excited about this update. It is the first one I'm getting this year. Uh, my car's been running an update uh, from late December. So uh, all sorts of new stuff in this update despite the release notes lying to you. So chances are you have this update. I've been following it on social media. This update's been going out it seems like to the whole fleet of cars but the release notes do not tell the full story it does not give you everything that is actually new so uh in this video i'm going to talk about everything that is new but i'm not going to go into great depth because uh, this video is going to be pretty long as is and i just kind of want to cover uh all the basis of what is new so uh dog mode first and foremost dog mode uh let's say you leave your dog in your car you get out and you want to go uh inside a store real quick you're leaving your car on, someone's gonna walk by, they're not gonna know your car is on. So this is where dog mode comes in. It's gonna just leave a big message on your screen saying, hey, dog mode is enabled, and don't worry, uh, the car is cooling down for the car for the dog. He's not in a hot environment where he's gonna die. So to do that, click the climate control at the bottom, and climate control will turn off when you leave your car. That's if you want it off. If you want it on, climate will stay on after you leave the car. It will turn off when the battery reaches 20%, or dog mode. Uh, climate and the screen will stay on when the screen stays on that's actually dog mode that pops up and i'll have a video about that later in the week but or next week something like that uh will turn off when the battery reaches 20 percent sentry mode will be disabled so sentry mode is actually in this update and we're going to talk about that uh later on but i'm going to turn it off for now because sentry mode will be disabled if you have dog mode on so you can actually turn on sentry mode if you have dog mode on so make sure you shut that off and then uh the next thing in the release notes is auto folding mirrors based off location so this is something i've actually wanted uh, quite a bit since i saw it as a release uh basically i'm driving up to my garage i always fold my mirrors it's so cool now that the mirrors will automatically fold in for me uh the way they implement it is not the most intuitive so basically i'm going to take you through it uh let's zoom in so you can really see here so you have to have your mirrors fold in so i'm going to hit fold that's the first thing we want to do so if you see unfold, you're fine. You're going to see a blue link, always fold mirrors. So if you click that, that's like a link to have them automatically fold in. Now it's going to fold in each and every time I come to my garage, my mirrors will fold in. If you click the X, it disables that feature. It's not a toggle. It's like literally just this blue text and then this X that's blended in. That's that's pretty much how the automatically folding mirrors works. Uh, not the most intuitive. I kind of would have liked a toggle to match the rest. So instead of like this, I would have liked something a little bit better, but nonetheless, the feature is here and it works. So according to the update, to the release notes, that is everything that is new, but no, there is more. So uh, if we go to autopilot, and I guess now is a good time to mention the dash cam recording used to only record with the front camera. Now it'll record with the left side camera and the right camera as well. And I'll show you guys that in a video uh, sometime in the near future. Uh, it also has blind spot collision warning chime. So if you're driving to someone's blind spot or someone's in your blind spot rather and you're driving over, it's going to actually chime you, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, they have uh, under safety and security, if you scroll down, you also have sentry mode. I'm going to click the little eyes so you can actually see, and we're going to focus, zoom in, and if you guys want to read this, pause the video now, go ahead and read it. It tells you everything about sentry mode and how it works and what it does and all that sort of stuff. Uh, basically, to enable it, uh, you have to uh, do it each and every time before you leave your car. Just come to safety and security. You can toggle it on like this, and you can also do it from the mobile app fairly easily. So in terms of updates, uh, this update was pretty good quite a bit to it uh there's this as well and you can see look it's totally glitched out you can't see anything behind it uh let's close this and now go here okay so my my screen's totally glitched there but uh if we go to atari the racing game is completely gone they're having licensing issues with it elon Musk said a new one is coming so that's also new ish like it was taken away so there's that if you like that racing game it is gone the other thing I'm testing is the range. So as you can see, I'm up to 402 kilometers. I set my limit to maximum trip. Uh, I'll let you guys know if this is the update. Follow me on Twitter if you wanna know more about this. I'll tweet this out tomorrow, uh, basically when this is done charging. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. There's more to the update than what the release notes said. 
and uh, look at this. It's, it doesn't let you do it when you're on charging or whatever. But uh, there's there's more to this update than the release notes said, because according to the release notes, it is only dog mode and auto folding mirrors. So this video is already over five minutes. I will have specific videos for most of these features in the next week or two. Make sure you guys are subscribed for more Tesla content. Uh, like the video, comment, all that YouTube stuff. And uh, most importantly, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.